So far, we have only discussed oscillations without any friction or air resistance. In those cases, an oscillation can go on and on forever without any loss in mechanical energy or decrease in amplitude. However, most real oscillations like this one eventually lose their energy to air resistance, friction, or other damping effect and come to rest after some time. By the way, the indicator here shows how the magnitude and the direction of the acceleration changes. When an oscillator loses mechanical energy, we call its motion damped oscillation. For example, if there is some friction or air resistance, the total mechanical energy would decrease as time goes on. This means the amplitude of the oscillation would decrease as well. If the damping effect is very large, for example, when an oscillator has to move through a thick fluid, the resulting position as a function of time can look like this or this. When an oscillator comes to a stop before it has a chance to pass through the equilibrium. Damping can have important applications. For example, to make a car ride smoother and more comfortable, we use shock absorbers to damp out the oscillation caused by a car hitting a bump in this manner.